Hey guys, um, <clears throat> making another video log today. It's um, <clears throat> sorry. Today is Wednesday. Oh, sorry, it's Thursday, um, which is the 23rd of October, which means that from tomorrow onwards, <clears throat> sorry, from tomorrow onwards, there's um, 10 days to go until my surgery. So um, today it's, it's about 10:30 now, so it's about 10 and a half to go now. Um, I just basically wanted to do another video log to show that I'm doing video logs often. It wasn't just the one. And uh, also to talk about the drinks that I'm having. Um, there's a, a brand, I'm currently using OptiFast. Um, there's, a, there's a brand called um, Tony Ferguson. Uh, and they make milkshakes and things like that. They don't sell them in my town. But my dad was in another town a couple days ago and he picked up a few sachets to try and they turned out to be um, quite a lot better than Optifast. Um, I didn't think there was much of a difference until we ran out of the Tony Ferguson and I switched back to Optifast and I could taste the difference. Um, the main difference is that the Tony Ferguson is it's a bit more, th it's a bit thinner. Um, when you make Optifast in your, your drink it sort of makes it a bit gluggy. Um, sort of more of a paste than a, a milkshake. The Tony Ferguson actually tastes like a milkshake. Um, you still got that, you can, you can tell it's not a milkshake, but it's a lot better. Um, it has a lot more um, calories, I think. I think it's got about double the OptiFast. So I checked with my, my surgeon's receptionist and she said uh, that was fine. Tony Ferguson is on the plan. Um, so there's a couple more days of OptiFast to go. So I'll show you what an OptiFast looks like and then I'll show you what a Tony Ferguson looks like. Um, basically the method that I use is uh, I use a, a magic bullet which is, if I can get the cord here we are, just here. Now a magic bullet here in Australia was advertised like a million times everywhere to the point where when we bought one it was you bought one and you got a second one for free. That's how, that's how much they advertised it. Um, it basically just inside um, it's just a, a motor and um, they give you these cups this one here I already have about a cup of water and a whole bunch of ice cubes now I put in a lot more ice cubes than I normally would because I expect them to um, defrost while I'm talking on here so normally about two handfuls will do and I can pick up about four to six cubes in a handful I'm talking about how much you can pick up not how much you can hold which you can pick up and put in the cup and um, put this down there and um, basically there's a little attachment like this and it's just a, a blade that you would find in a normal blender and on the opposite side is um, sort of the male part that fits in here and uh, that actually goes in there like that so um, what you do is um, that actually screws on here I'll show you so we get that fast in the packet, and um, rip it open, give it a smell, ooh, it smells nice, and then we just dump it all in there, make sure you get every single bit, don't want to miss any, alright, so um, that's my drink there, this is the little blade, and as you see, that's the cup, and this has got a thread at the top. And we're going to thread it down like that. Just like that. So that is now the contents of my drink with a blade at the bottom. And then we'll get the blender thing. And it sits down in the little grooves. And then we simply just push down. That's all there is to it. Uh, if you don't like the eyes too chunky, you can keep going. Like that. And then uh, you can remove the, the top. Just like that. That's the blade. And then, um, so you can drink out of the cup. They give you these little things here that sit on top of the thread. And then... Um, <coughs> That eliminates the thread, so you can nice smooth edge, and then you can drink out of it. It's just a normal cup with your Optifast in them. Mmm, yummy. Um, and that's that's how I do it. Um, the amount of ice that I put in 
gives it just enough to um, to make it cold. Yeah, it's very cold. Um, and also little chunks of ice inside. If you put in more ice, uh, you can you can get a OptiFast slushy, which is what my dad does. It's sort of it's really icy. But you got to blend it up really well. I don't know how other blenders go. I've I've uh, watched video diaries on YouTube saying that it froths up a lot. This gets a little bit of a froth, but it depends on how much water you put in. If you're just doing the water, it will froth up. If you put in the ice, it will not froth up. It might be because it, there's not enough air in there to froth up properly, or because of the temperature, I'm not really sure. But that's how I make my after fast. So that's my morning after fast, so I better drink that down so I don't get too late for my lunch one. Um, and I will make another video diary um, when I get uh, Tony Ferguson. Uh, I also have an update on my weight. Um, my weight, if you didn't see at the start, my weight is um, 134.8, which is a loss of about 2.6, I think. So um, I'll just put that on the side of the video. And uh, Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. I forgot to say that last time. Um, if you don't know how to subscribe, I'll put a little video here at the end if there's time on how to subscribe. It's really easy. You just click on the, the yellow button, hopefully just over there <laughs> to the right, and um, yeah, just click on subscribe. And then anytime you go to the YouTube homepage, if I make a new video, it'll come up and say, hey, check this out because it's really cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so subscribe. And um, ten and a half days to go to surgery. I'll make another video when Tony Ferguson, when we get Tony Ferguson, and um, also one week when there's one week to go, uh, an update on weight and etc. So uh, thanks to everyone who's watching, and I've already got a comment on my other video. It's only been up for a few days, so that's cool. Thanks for that, and um, I'll, I'll see you next time. See ya. Oh guys, uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button as you can see here so that you can see all my new logs on your YouTube homepage whenever you log in if I have something new to show you. So uh, if you don't want to miss a video, make sure you click on this button. And uh, if you want to contact me, click on my name just here.